13 News Now begins with breaking news. Chaos breaks out in a Norfolk neighborhood. Police are on the scene of two incidents that are not thought to be related, just blocks from one another. Norfolk's special operations team is in Huntersville, where a man is barricading himself in a home on Church Street. While responding to that, an officer-involved shooting happened on O'Keefe and Fremont Streets. That's where we find Chinu Her. Chinu, you have new information from police. That's right, guys. The new information just in Norfolk police say there are now two investigations happening near O'Keefe and Fremont. Now, right behind me here is where you see that barricade situation. Police tell me they were here investigating that when other people standing around told them, started screaming, said there was a shooting down the street near O'Keefe and Fremont. Officers responded to that, and that's when they found a man shot and on the ground. He was taken to the hospital where he died. Now, shortly Shortly following that, another man was shot by police and was taken to the hospital. Shots rung out down that way. I don't know what happened. The sound of gunshots mixed in the air with voices of those frightened. They were screaming, they was running, they was crying, people were praying. People near O'Keefe Street and Fremont Street in Norfolk forced to act quickly to save their own lives. All of a sudden you hear shots fired and everybody's running every which way to take cover and hide. So at that point you're just running for your life. You don't care where you end up as long as you, you're safe from bullets. Kenzie Shisky was nearby watching Norfolk police respond to a barricade situation about three blocks away in Church Street when those gunshots went off and sent everyone running. Some officers from the barricade scene took off to help at O'Keefe and Fremont where they got reports from witnesses that there were armed people around. An officer did engage a person and incidentally shot that man. That man was transported from the scene to Sentara Norfolk General Hospital uh, and his condition right now, I have not received any updates. Norfolk police still cannot confirm if that man was armed or not, but they continue to investigate. Canvassing the neighborhood and talking to witnesses. In the meantime, even with their neighborhood outlined in crime tape, these people near O'Keefe and Fremont considered themselves lucky to be able to go home tonight. I was pretty terrified, to be honest. I thought I was going to have to, I was going to die. Now, Norfolk police say these scenes are not related to the barricade situation you see here at this time. Still unclear if the shootings are also connected to each other. Norfolk police say Virginia State Police is now investigating the officer involved shooting. Norfolk police handling the homicide investigation. Of course, stay with 13 News Now and 13newsnow.com as more of the details develop. Live in Norfolk, Chinoo Hurt, 13 News Now.